up guys, it's Nathan again. Sorry we haven't brought you guys any uh, content. We're working on big plans for this summer, so make sure to stay tuned for those upcoming videos. Um, we're here on the train tracks of Bowness. I believe we want to just show you guys how we did that one shot of, it was me and him actually, we held, uh, actually here, this is right here, the frame. Gonna show you guys how to do that picture. So basically what you guys want to do when you first arrive to whatever destination you're taking photos at is I'm not professional like this guy but a tripod like this guy if you have one and set up the legs properly however you want to do it and yeah just make sure it's straight you want to make sure that it's perfectly horizontal with whatever you're taking a picture of and then yeah basically take the picture don't move the camera at all, have Buddy step in like this and then take the picture right now and then boom, you're good to go. And try not to like get hit by any trains and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Get the tripod off and everything. Yeah. Just hope to God that... That was close! <laughs> So just take a picture like this and then this is actually going to be the layer you use for the background is this picture and then Nathan will uh, step in. So that was one picture and then Nathan steps in, stands still, then you grab a picture right here and then that's pretty much it. Alright guys, so now that you have your uh, two pictures, you're going to want to open up a photo editing program. I use GIMP 2.8 because it is free and pretty awesome. So, uh, in the video, like just recently, I said take a picture of this and then take a picture of Nathan. So, this is really, really bad quality because I just took a snapshot from Movie Maker. That's all right. Okay, so you're gonna wanna open the second file as a layer. That's what I did here. I used open as layers, and then in my layers window, you can see I have two files. Okay, so you're gonna want a photo of Nathan as the first layer. Right click, add a layer mask, white full opacity. Add that. Okay, paintbrush. Uh, actually, I would not use a paintbrush for this. I don't usually. I'm going to do this real quick. This is a really bad photo because it's just a snapshot, so the resolution's really bad. Okay, anyways, um, on a better file, I'm assuming that when you take this photo, you're going to use a better file, not this, like, 280p crap. Anyways, all right, you're going to want to use your free select tool and literally just boom boom just click the corners of the frame and when I actually make this photo I zoom right in and I get right on the edges but this is just quick so once you have your frame inside of your frame selected make sure you're clicking on your layer mask that's this white part here in your layer window go to your paintbrush I'm just gonna make this like size 100 if I can figure this out there we go and then just paint the inside of the frame zoom out and then that's pretty much how you do it I mean this is a very quick bad photo I'm just gonna select all so I can get rid of that so that's basically how you do it um, on my actual photo I took way more time and used a 6,000 by 4,000 resolution picture so this is just crap but that's how you do it it's the same for a good picture a bad picture it's the same technique and yeah that's really how you do it super simple just get both your images merge them together I mean sorry not merge, merge them together uh, layer them together 
or layer, layer them on top of each other and then put a mask on select the inside of that, paint over it done, really easy so I hope that's uh, helpful to you guys and I hope I explained that somewhat well I think I hope